right now it feels fairly significant. It's um, it's a fresh food. It's fresher than probably anything that Churchill has really ever been experienced, like has experienced with in the past. I literally pick it today and you get it later today. In Canada's north, eating healthy can be expensive and hard. Imagine paying 11 bucks for a jug of milk or $9 for a head of broccoli. And produce is often weeks old and wilted by the time it gets there. But a new project in Churchill, Manitoba might just be the fix for that, or at least the start of one. We sent Cameron McIntosh to check it out. Churchill's Northern store doesn't usually look like this. Isn't that wonderful? Stocked with leafy, green, and fresh produce. Excuse customers for getting emotional. Oh. Produce here is usually flown in, driving up prices as freshness and nutritional value diminish. Locally grown is a foreign concept. Great endeavor. Basil even. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's like, wow. Here in the north, there have always been two big problems when it comes to growing fresh food on a commercial scale. The growing season is just too short and the terrain just isn't suitable to it. So here in Churchill, the fix they're trying is in that shipping crate. And it even works on a day like today when it feels like minus 45. So this is it. Mm, this is it. Looks like lettuce. Yeah, we got some fluffy leaf lettuce. This is called the grocer, a portable hydroponic garden. Nice basil growing here, smells delicious. That basil along with lettuce, arugula are all growing under LED lights in nutrient enriched water computer controlled for maximum growth. All you need is a hydro hookup and a source of water. This is the seedling nursery. Carly Baszler is the operator plastic. and now town gardener. We are growing about 400 to 450 units of produce that we can harvest weekly um, and make those available in our community. Regardless of rail service or air service or weather, um, you know, it is uh, a lush green garden in the middle of winter, so that's pretty unique. She's calling it Rocket Greens, a play on the slang for arugula, and the former rocket range where the research center that bought the unit is located. We'll pull one of these kales over. It's limited to leafy greens. It can't grow root vegetables like potatoes, but it is changing diets here. This is the pak choy. It's cookable and it's quickly becoming a favorite of people in town. We've been sharing how to cook it, and um, people are frying it, putting it in stews. It goes well with caribou, you say? It can, yeah. It can Others like have anything. tried greenhouses and hydroponics in the north before. What makes this different is it's designed to work on a commercial scale for profit. This is the first one in Canada. There's six others in Alaska is, uh, and plans to go into other, other Canadian communities. We really think that, you know, there's no reason why every community shouldn't be growing their own food locally if they can. Ottawa-based grocer helped develop the technology. It sells the units at an upfront cost of $210,000, then offers technical support. The secret sauce is in how we support farmers um, and how we make it easy for them to get started in, in a small scale. Okay, so here's a seedling. The Churchill Northern Research Centre bought this one to research food security. But this is quickly turning into a real business. It's already considering buying another. All right, let's get it inside before it gets uh, too cold. Basiler is selling to the local grocery store and a couple restaurants. She also started Launchbox, a weekly subscription and delivery service. It's just remarkable that we can get this up here. A big hit in what may be the one place where you don't need to argue with kids to eat their veggies. This little one ate two, two heads of lettuce? Actually, three heads of lettuce in total, and I, and I had to go buy more. I've been looking for a little bit of meaning in my work, and uh, I've sort of found it here. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. We'll you. Making the Great White North we'll see you guys all next week, I guess. a little greener. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Churchill. And this couldn't come at a better time for Churchill. The rail line Cam mentioned, that the one that delivers food to the north, it hasn't been running for almost a year. Parts of the track were washed out last spring, and it's the only rail link connecting Churchill with the rest of the country. The owner of that line could fix it, but they say it would be too expensive, and they'd rather just sell the whole thing off. So for now, anything fresh has to be flown in, which drives up prices even further. Various levels of government do run programs to help bring costs down, but that only takes people so far.